Hi everyone, today I'm here with a review of The School for Good and Evil by Soman Chainani. This is the first book from the trilogy. Every four years, two children are stolen from Gavaldon, a small village, and they never return. There are also rumours going on about The School for Good and Evil, and those children don't want to go to The School for Good and Evil. But Sophie is different. She's always wanted to be a princess, and she thinks that The School for Good and Evil is her chance, but her best friend, Gatha, I hope I'm saying the name right, doesn't believe it and they have different opinions on it. The two girls have been taken for that school and things don't go by Sophie's plan because sometimes the princess and the witch don't look like they do in fairy tales. This book was really, really interesting. It's a middle grade novel and it is, as it is obviously says the title, set in a school. I absolutely love books set in magical schools. It is not quite what I expected it to be but I still really enjoyed it. The first half of the book felt a bit more, a bit too much of a fairy tale esque. I mean, some people might really like it, but I'm not a huge fan of fairy tales, especially like princesses and things. It's not really my thing. The second half of the book changed in tone completely. It got a lot darker and more sinister. And from time to time, I felt like it's not really a middle grade novel, at least it should be for teenagers. Because some of the things that were mentioned in this book, first of all, they're a bit too dark for a middle grade novel. Second of all, sometimes there will be some kind of sexual context in the sentences that the main characters were saying. And I felt like it is just a bit inappropriate for children to read this. So I don't know how this could be considered as a middle grade novel, to be honest with you. These two things are things that I felt are really, really inappropriate and definitely have sexual context in them. They're kind of hidden, sort of, but at the same time, they're still there. I'm not going to tell them because it's kind of spoiling the um, something that I'm not going to explain. The first half of the book, I wasn't quite as interested. I mean, it was interesting. I was looking forward to see what was going to happen, but at some point I just kind of got bored of it and then I needed a break from it, so I started reading different books. But the second half of the book grieved me so much and I remember one day I was reading for three hours without stopping this book because I couldn't stop and I really needed to find out what was going to happen. It was really interesting to follow these two girls. They're completely different from each other and I really was interested to see how they were changing, to see how their story was progressing because they are in different schools. I mean, they're in the same school, but in different kind of sections, let's say, different schools. One school is the school of good and the other is school of evil. I'm not going to tell you which girl is in which school. It might be obvious, but I'm not going to tell you anyway. I liked the two girls. The first, Sophie, was a bit annoying. She, I don't know, she's a bit arrogant. She is a bit I don't know, I didn't quite like her, but towards the end of the book, the second half of the book again, changed my opinion on her and I kind of started liking her for her own reasons. She's a really complex character and I like that. But then Agatha is a really interesting character as well and I really like seeing changes in her and seeing her personality a lot deeper. This book is definitely dark. I mean, it's kind of cosy and comforting. You see the lessons that they have at the school as well, for two different schools, what they learn and what they do at school. So it is all explained, so you kind of see the world building and there's kind of a map at the beginning, if I forgot to mention it. There is a map of school, I don't know how well you can see that. I am interested to find out what's going to happen in the second and third books, but I can't buy the second and third books because of my TBR rule but I really look forward to buying the second and third books and find out how things are going to be because the ending of the first book took me by surprise. I was shocked with the things that happened at the very end. And again, I didn't feel like it would be appropriate for middle grade because it's a bit too dark for them, I think. But it was really, really interesting. And the very end of the book, how things got to how they are now at the end of the book, I have no idea what's going to happen in the second book and how it all is going to happen because the cover of the next book doesn't make sense with the things that happened at the end of the book. Um, I don't know. Also, another thing that I felt it was in a, it could be a bit inappropriate for middle grade is that it's a bit too heavy on the romance side. It is very focused on it. And I didn't like the love interest in this book at all. He's a bit too arrogant. He's a bit, I don't know, he, I just don't like those kind of 
boys and he's the love interest in this book and I, I didn't like him he's just annoying I find him really annoying also what I liked in this book is that it kind of gives us the idea that not everything is a hundred percent good or a hundred percent evil there is a mixture of everything in one person and it can't be one or the other it's always a mixture and also another thought that came to my mind whilst reading it that everything depends on a point of view so from one point of view that something that the person does could be considered good the other point of view could be telling you that it is completely wrong so everything is so relevant and nothing is purely evil or purely good it could be good with bad motives or it could be bad but with good motives it is so complicated you never know so that's kind of the thought that came to my mind whilst reading this book and i think it is so true in life not just in this book these are my thoughts on this book i hope you enjoyed this video and um, please tell me in the comments if you read this book or if you're planning to read it i would love to hear your thoughts on it as well i didn't actually plan this video as much so i just kind of got with the thoughts that i'm having at the moment so if i've got everything i am sorry for that but if you have any questions on, on this book i will you can leave them in the comments and i will answer them i hope you enjoyed this video and i will see you in the next one thank you for watching bye